If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. I post a new Tom Brady video every day. This is the most incredible thing I've ever seen in all of sports. Like, I grew up in Chicago. I, I saw the six championships with Michael Jordan, see what LeBron is doing. But for Tom Brady to go to a new team, not have training camp, not have mini camp, basically limited in practice, babysitting Antonio Brown, doing all the things as a husband, as a father, <laughs> as a provider. I mean, it's just incredible. It's like the most amazing thing I've ever seen. I mean, for a guy to be 43 years old and have that level of mental toughness, it's just, it's just incredible. I mean, everyone's talking about the coach. You think I'm taking Andrew Luck over Tom Brady? You think I'm taking that young, inexperienced team that went up to Kansas City and got their butts kicked? No, the Patriots went up there and did their thing. I'm taking a veteran-laced team with the best quarterback, I don't care what they say on TV, um, with the best general manager and the head coach and Coach Bill Belichick, that's who I'm going with. I think the best way is let put the ball in Tom Brady's hands. You don't have to worry about snow. You don't have to worry about weather conditions and let him pass the ball 40-plus times. And Tom, his eagerness, his... his um, you know, his desire to be the greatest. And Tom's always looking for that motivation. And um, I got some funny stories, but I can't tell him today um, about Tom and, and just that motivation. But yeah, man, he's, he's really motivated and he's ready to go. I think Tom Brady could throw over for 300, 350, easy. All right, I guess the first question I have to ask you is, um, as far as the defense, is there that one guy on the defensive side that um, used to talk trash to you and, and dominate you like I did? <laughs> <laughs> There's been no one since you left that could do that. You could, you're probably the only person that could get in my head, and you did a lot. And, uh, but, you know, we had some great times together. We did. I was lucky to play with you. I I'm sure you annoyed him, but you pushed him. What did you see then from Brady that is, that is showing up right now? What is, what is it about his mind? What is it about his practice, his preparation that takes him to the Tom. next level? Tom is a thug. Y'all don't realize that. Y'all look at the pretty boy <laughs> smile and the shine and the glow on his face. He looks tremendous. Tom is a straight up thug. And he told me at the beginning That's of the this first. year, hey, do you believe? Do you believe? Because, hey, I'm going to kick some butt. And not the, the B word. It wasn't the B word. He said, man, Tom he, he is a thug. If you were he with wants him to beat him. you. <laughs> yes. And of course, I said I'm with you. But Tom is a thug, man. Tom wants to beat the living crap out of you. I don't care about how nice he appears after the game, shaking Aaron Rodgers' hands, looking at Drew Brees in the eyes. He wanted to destroy Drew. He wanted to destroy Aaron. He wants to destroy um, Mahomes. He wants to destroy everybody that he plays against. And don't fall for that. Because when I came in there, I knew that. And I went right at Tom. Every single time I got, I don't care if he got frustrated with me jamming the receivers, hitting a guy late, roughing him up. I didn't care. I wanted to get under Tom Brady's skin. Make no mistake, Rodney Harrison is not here to feel loved. I came with a laser focus and so much anger. Well, I know you used to frustrate him in practice. The main guy he attacked and he was on was Tom Brady. Rodney and Tom going back and forth verbally. Brady was ultra competitive even in practice. Just never seen Tom get rattled that bad, not even in games. Yeah, he was. And, you know, the, the bad part about today's NFL, everyone's so caught up in an athletic quarterback. Well, Tom Brady won the most Super Bowls without being athletic. If you're smart, you're a great decision maker, um, your teammates believe in you. And that's the biggest thing with Tom. Tom never wanted to disappoint his teammates. He never always wanted to make sure that he wasn't the reason why we lost, that he wanted to be the reason why we won. And, um, you know, just that mindset over 20 some years, man, it's just amazing to see how everything has um, transpired for him. And he was an unselfish guy. He was a terrific leader. He was one of the most humble guys in the locker room. Yes, as you can see, that, that, uh, that, that effect, it worked well with the, um, the Bucks. As we speak about Tom, Tom is, he's great. And it was, it's really good to be able to communicate with him. I know he's really, really focused on this game, and he wants to win this game for his legacy. So how, what do you mean for his legacy? I mean, did, not for his, or I does, know. Does he think his legacy is not cemented? I think he looks at himself as a six-round draft choice, and, and he's always looked at himself as, as that. That's why he prepares. That's why he never takes anything for granted. That's why he works his butt off. And I tell you, every time I would go in there at 5, 30, 6 o'clock in the morning, he's one of the first guys in that weight room. How does it make you feel, Tom, when you, when you hear your name being mentioned as the best ever? 
I don't think I like it very much, truthfully. I don't think that's... It's almost more uncomfortable for me because I never see myself like that. And I, you know, I'd li I've always been underdog. How do you view yourself? Because you remember before, back in 2003, you told me while we're sitting down having lunch, mm -hmm. I'm a six round pick, draft choice. Yeah. That's your approach. I still feel that way. I mean, I was a backup quarterback on an 0-8 freshman high school team. I didn't even play. You know, we didn't win a game and I couldn't even get on the field. You know, I was... A kind of a late bloomer, recruited to Michigan late, started as a seventh quarterback, you know, had to work really hard to even play, you know, thought, oh, man, I'll make being pro football. Got drafted in the sixth round. Mm -hmm. You know, no one thought I'd make the team. So that drives you. You know, yeah, it still does. I mean, I think now, now it's like, wait a minute. Now you guys want me to stop playing? No, this is when, this is when I'm having fun. Mm. You know, now is the time where I get to do, you know, Really enjoy it. I always had a lot of belief in myself, and I always tell a lot of young quarterbacks, you don't believe in yourself. Why do you think those guys who are looking at you are going to believe in you? You know, when you step in that huddle, they better look at you and go, man, that guy's ready to get the job done. Because if they don't see that, then they're going to start questioning, oh, my God, I don't think that guy can get the job done. Mm -hmm. So you got to believe in what you, you know, who you are, what you do, what you bring to the team. And then if you do that, you know, they're going to feed off that as well. You tell me, uh, you tell me, uh, an uh, uh, NFL player or an athlete that has more discipline and more mental toughness than Tom Brady. You just can't find it. It feels so weird to me that we are going to watch Football Tom Brady return to Foxborough. Did you ever think he'd play anywhere other than New England? Let's go! The statue in the pocket. Brady lets it fly. The old Patriot teammates reunite. Unbelievable. Playing the best football of his career right now. I never thought he'd play anywhere other than New England, uh, quite honestly. Um, but I'm extremely happy for Tom Brady. Um, it just seems like he's at a good spot in his life. And, um, you know, he's really excited about the place that he's at. Um, and he's able to really show his personality. I mean, you see Tom doing his commercials. You see him on social media. This is the real Tom Brady that we see every day in a locker room as players. And I'm just happy for Tom that he's having success and that he's doing what he wants to do where he wants to do it at. From the unproven to the top of the mountain. Tonight, we meet in Foxborough. All I know is I have a lot of respect for the two men that I played with and played for um, at a very high level. These guys, they prepared, they worked hard, and they lasted 20 years. Everybody wants to criticize and find something negative about being together for 20 years. How about finding something positive? It just doesn't happen. You know, most, most of the time you can't have those type of long-term relationships, but yet we tend to find something negative with Tom Brady and Bill Belichick and every relationship is not going to be perfect. There's going to be times where one party may seem, you know, like they're disturbed by the other, but at the end of the day, they've won a lot of games, a lot of Super Bowls, and they made a difference in a lot of people's lives. So I have nothing but positive things to say about their relationship. Bill yeah. Belichick saw something in Tom Brady that gave him an opportunity. And once Tom got that opportunity and he saw the level of preparation and all the secrets and all the innuendos that Bill Belichick brings Tom Brady implemented that in his TB 12 the way he takes care of his body the way he takes care of his mind how much sleep no alcohol hydration all those different things and it works what we got we got to defend that steps up avoids the rush throws caught touchdown Antonio Brown Tom Brady Tom Brady Tom Brady Tom Brady Tom Brady, Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Play for our crew. We play together. Raise the flags. When you look at of those two guys with a lot of, of competition between them, a lot of pride between them, which one has the advantage? Which one has the edge on Sunday night? The guy that's throwing the football. I mean, are you kidding me? <laughs> like Coach Belichick, he can sit on the sideline, he can call whatever he wants to call, but at the end of the day, he's not going to have a direct impact on the game. Tom Brady will because he has his hands on the ball 100% of the time, you know? So, um, you know, everybody asks me who has the advantage, who has – it's, it's easy. It's Tom Brady. He has the advantage. He definitely has the advantage because he's very familiar with everything that they've done. And, you know, obviously he's been around Coach Belichick for a long time. It feels like just yesterday I could see the picture in my head <laughs> of you. I think you broke, you broke your arm in that game. I did. Super Bowl against the Panthers with the confetti yep. falling down. 
tears in your eyes, okay, yeah. when you, when you broke, bro, that was almost 20 years ago. That was almost 20 <laughs> years that. ago, Rodney. <laughs> it, 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 it was almost 20 years ago. That was, that was 2000, wow. that was the 2003 season, two, January, to February 2004. We're in 2021, and your old quarterback, I mean, how do you process the fact that dude is back in the Super Bowl again? How do you process this, Rodney? We're struggling to do it. Tom's not going to have any mercy because at the end of the day, he's going to hug you, and he's going to, hey, he wants to put five, six, seven touchdowns up on you if he can. So um, you, you better hope that he doesn't embarrass you. His mentality, Tom is a thug. He wants to destroy you. He just don't want to beat you. He want to destroy you. Trust me, I played with the guy for six, six years, and I've watched his every game that he's played the last 12 years, okay? Have you had to kind of adjust your leadership style in order to relate to this younger locker room and a younger generation? You know, I feel like I, I feel like I do that naturally. I feel like I have a great camaraderie with the guys I play with. The guys I used to play with, I still do, because I genuinely care about the guys that I play with. I mean, I care about the guys that I've played with, the guys that are in the locker room. I'm trying to help them, you know, reach their potential in their career. If I can help them in any way, that's a great benefit to me. I had you to look up to. I had Willie to look up to. I had Teddy to look up to. I had Drew Bledsoe to look up to. You know, Lawyer Malloy, all the great players that I saw. And I was lucky to, to play with those guys. Now they're looking at me in the same way. So what can I do to help them? Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe as I post a new Tom Brady video every day.